Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, Akron on the road twice last week and came home with two more big wins, a 21-point win over Miami Tuesday night down in Oxford, then a nail-biting two-point win against Ohio University Saturday afternoon down in Athens. So right now, the Zips are 16-4 and in the season, 6-1 and in the Mid-American Conference as they get set to host conference champion Buffalo Tuesday night at Rhodes Arena, then Friday night, game one of a two-game series with Kent State, arch rival Kent, always a tough game. And, Coach, people ask why it's tough to win on the road. you got to travel on buses. you got to sleep in hotels. You're not used to the beds. you got everybody rooting against you. Sight lines are different. But your team has done a great job on the road this year. Well, I think the biggest thing, and maybe I undervalued this when I was a younger head coach, Joe, when you spend all that time on the bus in the hotels traveling to and from, you got to like each other. Sure. You know, that really helps. And obviously our team is extremely connected. Yeah. Uh, we enjoy being around our team. I think our players enjoy being around our staff. They enjoy being around each other uh, on this journey that we're on. It's a special group. And that, I think, has been a real separator for us. There's nothing better in sports, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, to go into a hostile arena with everybody rooting it against you and beat them. There's no question. <laughs> and obviously, uh, you know, the second game you mentioned here of this past week uh, in Athens, great crowd. Yeah. It got really loud in there when they made their second half run. They played terrific. But our guys showed great poise and just kept making plays and didn't flinch. Certainly our experience helps. Exactly. Right now, let's go back to Millette Hall down on the campus of Miami University. Pick up highlights from Tuesday night's big win. Highlights brought to you as always by ESPN. Coach, you've got a habit of really jumping out on teams, and you did that again at Miami. Nice start. I think it's really important regardless of whether it's home away or neutral, but especially, you know, when you are away from home, yeah. Joe, to get off the great starts. And uh, we've been able to do that, again, with an experienced crew, our guys have really set the tone early uh, in these games and certainly did this past week. Zarius Williams with the three right there. He had a nine-point lead with 13 minutes left in the first half, Coach. He pushed it out to 22 points under four and then led at halftime, I think, by uh, 19. So he really had some good things going. We did. We had our defense really going and really cooking and getting stops. And when we get stops, Joe, we can get out and transition. And you see a lot of these clips here, whether it's the threes or the layups and things that we're getting in the paint are a result uh, of our defense. You know, playing offense off of our defense. Shot 50% in threes uh, in that first half, going 8 for 16. As we said, you led by as many as 25 points then in the second half. So, boy, that three ball is really working for you. Yeah, and it's because of the inside-out threat. Yeah. And that's what people need to understand, our ability to penetrate the paint via dribble penetration, via pick-and-roll basketball, allows us to get paint touches, and then that sucks everybody in. So... It's not just that we're making threes and getting, you know, quite a few three-point attempts up. It's the quality, yeah. Joe, of those threes. Take a look there at Lauren Christian Jackson, who continues to play unbelievable basketball. Zarius Williams with a nice uh, turnaround jumper from about 14 feet away. Red Hawks go on a 5-0 run late in the game. There's about six minutes left, Coach. You call a timeout again, settle things down, and you go on the win by 21-81-60. Yeah, I thought the first 30 minutes of that game, Joe, we played really well. The last 10, thought we traded baskets, yeah. and uh, we've got we got to get that cleaned up pretty quickly because we've been fortunate and obviously have played some good basketball, as you mentioned at the outset of the show. But if we want to be as good as we can possibly be and overachieve at the highest level in terms of how we play with this particular team, we've got to defend more consistently, in particular in second halves, and be able to have sustainability in that area. 
Zips end up with four players in double figures Tuesday night in that win over Miami. Lauren Christian Jackson with 20. Zarius Williams with 19.7 rebounds. Tyler Chi ships in with 18. Channel Banks with 12. And well, you're getting a lot of scoring from those four guys, Coach. Yeah, we are very much a, in a blended way. And then, as I've said all along, it's a little bit of a misnomer because you look at what React recent sales give us collectively yeah. at the five, and they average a double double when you put all three of those guys stats together. You know, and that's what we're looking for. So we're getting great production from that spot as well. And then our bench, here you see Greg Tribble on a great drive and finish. You know, those guys have come off ready to play and add value and done a nice job for us here this past week. For the game, Coach, you shoot 53% from the field, 58% in threes, as it's always fun to shake hands after a win. Out rebounding the Red Hawks by 11, 37, 26. So you're getting it done in a lot of different areas. Yeah, very much so. You know, obviously my biggest concern right now is our defense and making yeah. sure that we're impactful uh, for 40 minutes. And that's kind of the next step for us. I'll tell you what, uh, the seniors for this basketball program doing some great things right now. When we come, uh, come back, we're going to meet those four guys, have a comment from Coach right after this. The difference with One's Financial Group is that we did not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom, on the track, in the boardroom, and in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross. Coach, senior leadership, that's something a lot of people talk about, but you seem to have great senior leadership right now. Phenomenal. Uh, what a great class. You know, I, I remind our, you know, our staff, our support staff, and the people that are around our program, because like yourself, yeah. you know, to enjoy it. Sure. Because uh, I've been doing it 25 years, and, you know, it's a special group of guys. Um, the seniors certainly lead um, our, our whole but guys are just, the, the, in terms of teammates, leadership, chemistry, connectedness, you know, teamism, whatever words you want to use, yeah. you know, we have that in our locker room, and that's what makes it so fun to work with the guys. Right now, let's meet those senior leaders who are really making an impact on the University of Akron basketball program. Zaris Williams Sr., uh, forward from Springfield, Ohio. Uh, what makes this team special is the camaraderie. Thing React Sr., Channel Banks, senior, I'm a guard, Las Vegas, Nevada, and what makes the team special is just the chemistry and the unselfishness. Tyler Cheese, um, guard, senior, from Albany, Georgia. What makes the team special is our connection, the brotherhood that we have. I just look to lead by example in like little things, um, like kind of like on and off the court, just, you know, stuff like that. Um, also, like doing like, um, kind of like a little bit more of the dirty work, like rebounding and stuff like that. Like the intangibles is kind of what I, what I try to bring and just the consistency. Because consistency is like very hard to, you know, come by, especially now, you know, once you're getting through, you know, uh, conference play, it's hard. You got, so you got to try to stay consistent. My leadership comes from my play because I'm more of a quiet, like laid back type of person. So I feel like when I bring my edge and I, like my motor is high and I'm playing, um, I feel like, like we play at a different level. Um, I think my role on the team is just, you know, being more of the vocal leader, not really caring about people's feelings. Um, but sometimes you need that, and then put you back off X. I just feel like I do the dirty work, take the charges, get the team hyped up, and you know, the rest is history. I think I just pull guys aside, give them little pointers, especially the younger guys, and they do the same thing to me. Just pull me aside. I feel like everybody just needs. Follow. Yeah, we know how to talk to each other. So. For me, uh, when I every time after a game, when I give him a marble, I look and I see fewer. And I, sometimes I get sad, but sometimes I get excited because 
after this, like, um, you really don't know what your future holds. So it's exciting, but it, then again, it's scary too. Uh, when I got to get close to Marvels, it just brings me back memories. And then, you know, those are my last games, so I got to go out and compete every day. Um, when I look at, you know, my marble bag, it's kind of kind of tough, you know, being in college for five years, playing four. So it's been like a long, like, career for me. Um, you know, you just feel like it'll never end. Uh, I feel like yesterday I was just a freshman, but uh, now I'm a senior, so it's kind of just surreal. When I look at the marble, it's just really eye-opening to see how little game we got left. The seniors, we're trying to build a culture that lasts a long time here. You know, that's what Coach Gross wants. He wants a culture. So, uh, you start, you start with it. starts with us. So, if the freshmen see that, they're gonna do that for the next year that comes in, and it's just gonna keep going on and on. Uh, like I said, it's about like leaving a legacy. So, you know, we want to leave something for them to continue on, and I want people to remember, like, you know, that that, that we. Uh, did some here, you know, so it's really what it is. Coach, the fans are really uh, starting to appreciate those seniors. I'll tell you, they really like them. Love, love to watch them play. No, they should. You know, we, we appreciate them and, and they're grateful to have the opportunity yeah. to coach them. As I said earlier, it's a special group. And, you know, I looked the other day and I'm like, man, you know, college basketball will officially be over in a around April 1st. Yeah. And uh, that's not too far from certainly where we're at right now. So trying to milk every day and enjoy every day that we have with these guys. Sure. We're going to take a break, come back and look at highlights of that big two point winner of Ohio University. So don't go away. We're back right after this. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. Summa Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Well, the Zips traveled down to Athens, Ohio, Saturday afternoon to take on the Bobcats. That was a 3.30 tip-off, and, and Coach, you're getting everybody's best shot right now. They know you're up on top of the league. They want to give you the best look they can. No question, and uh, we got to embrace that, have yeah. fun with that. I told the guys at the timeout when Ohio was making their run, like, hey, fellas, this is fun. Man. Yeah. Embrace the challenge, enjoy it, let's compete. You know, this is what you want as competitors. And uh, But you're right. I, I've tried to, you know, we, we were uh, – you know, focusing on the bullseye of the fact of where we were picked and, you know, where we were at early on. And then we started playing some good basketball. And I told him, I said, now, fellas, you know, we're not just focusing on the bullseye of the opponent. There's one on our back, too. Exactly. So we've got to understand that uh, with that comes great responsibility as a competitor. So, you know, I think they've stepped up uh, to the plate uh, for the most part and understand that and have been ready to play. Right now, let's go back to the convo down on the campus of Ohio University. Pick up highlights from that big win over the Bobcats. Highlights brought to you by the Ohio University Athletic Department. Coach, it was a tale of two different halves. You dominated that first half playing great basketball. We did, uh, both O and D, Joe. Once again, very similar to Miami and how we played earlier in the week for the first 30 minutes. And uh, did just some great things. Ball movement, shot selection, defending you know, taking away uh, the strengths of Miami, or of Ohio, excuse me, in the first half, and we just, we did a really good job. Now, the second half, give Ohio credit, they played their tails off. Uh, we complicated matters a little bit by uh, some, mis with some miscues, and they took advantage of it, and uh, obviously it came down to the final seconds. Coach, it looked like in the first half they were trying to take the, the perimeter shot away. They got up in you. And then the zip started taking it to the basket a little bit. Yeah, we did. And we hit the roller a few times in yeah. our pick and roll game. Reese got the dunk you saw there earlier. Reak had a couple air finishes in and around the rim. 
Here you see us again creating offense off of our defense on these uh, two clips that you just watched. And so that's when we're at our best. We didn't get very many stops in the second half, so we really had to grind it. And uh, obviously Ohio was really good in the second half. I thought offensively their shot making and execution really put us in a lot of dilemmas. And uh, we've got to be better defensively than what we were in the second half. Your team led 39 to 30, coach. There's like three minutes and three seconds left in the first half. Then you go on a 16 to two run to close out the first half. Yeah, we started the game well and finished yeah. the half well. You're right, and those are two big keys. We like to start and finish both halves well and uh, talk a lot to our guys about how important that is. As we said, the Zips are up 48 to 32 at halftime. Then the second half, things tighten up as Ohio starts to make some really tough shots. Yeah, they made a couple at the end of the yeah. shot clock and a couple guys that uh, maybe that those uh, shot making uh, from three in particular weren't their strengths. They made them, so give them credit. And uh, obviously it forced us to make a few more plays and really tested our poise and our ability to handle adversity. And I thought we did that really well and obviously made enough plays down the stretch to win it. And then Lauren Christian Jackson kind of puts the team on his back in that second half, Coach. You mentioned in the post-game radio show he was just a killer in that second half. He was, and the guys on the bench knew it. His teammates knew it that were out there playing with him, and obviously we rode him pretty hard late in the game. He was in one of those grooves, and, and uh, his performance was incredible. Had a great week for us. Uh, you know, really, is our, obviously, I said before, our leader in the locker room and on the court. As good as Akron played uh, in the first half, it came down, Coach, to the final seconds of this game. There's some crazy things going on in that last 1.2 seconds. The officials went over and looked to make sure they had the time right. That got a little nerve-wracking at the end. Yeah, a lot of monitor review, that's yeah. for sure, but <laughs> stoppage in play. But, you know, they got all that stuff right, and uh, Cheese makes a good play at the end of the game and just throws it long, which you see here, which just to tap it with .8 left uh, to make sure that we didn't give them an opportunity in front of their own basket. Exactly. Just throw it down the other end and let somebody touch it. Game over. That's right. Exactly. Big win for the Zips. Lauren Christian Jackson ends up with 35. We're going to talk about him in a second. Two big road wins. Doesn't get much better than that. We're going to take a break. Come back with our player of the week and the player on the rise. So don't go away. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom. On the track. In the boardroom. And in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Right now, it's time to name our Player of the Week and our Player on the Rise. And, of course, our Player of the Week, none other than Lauren Christian Jackson. And, Coach, I have run out of superlatives for Lauren Christian Jackson. I don't know if you have or not. This guy's amazing. No, he can t obviously continue to get better, and we want him to have that mindset, um, our team and him both def defensively. Uh, but, obviously, from an offensive perspective this past week and some things he did defensively, played at a really, really high level. Um, you know, I, you know, I don't say this very often, but, you know, he certainly deserves to be Mac Player of the Week. It hasn't been given out yet. Uh, but if there's somebody who played better in two road wins, and uh, I'd, I'd love to see it. Exactly. You know, he, he was absolutely terrific and uh, did a great job of running our team. Career high of 35 points against Ohio and also went over the 1,000-point mark in his college career. So he did a lot of good things this week. He did. He had a great, great week, and uh, we need him to continue to play good basketball for us and uh, continue to play his role really well and add as much value as he can, just like the other guys. I always tell him, you know, everybody's got a role. The role's going to be different, uh, but we value everyone the same, and uh, everyone's role is valuable. We need everybody to be an NBA all-star in their role. Obviously, he's doing that very well right now. 
we have seen an assortment of different shots from Lauren Christian Jackson, the three-point shot, the floater in the lane. He added that little seven-foot hook on the run the other day. Yeah, he worked on that. We call that the Xavier Simpson after the guard that plays sure. at Michigan. Sure, sure. Um, and uh, the, the sweeping or running hook. And uh, he worked on it really over the last year pretty hard and uh, has added that to his game. Exactly. Congratulations to Lauren Christian Jackson. Now our player on the rise, a young man that has traveled a lot in his young life, 6'10 senior post, Deng Riak, and he continues to get better coaching. Right now, he's doing a good job on that pick and roll. They're throwing it up to him. He's got two or three dunks in the last couple of games. No, he's been great in the pick and roll game. Here you see an air finish there. He is an unbelievable screener and uh, defender. Does things that don't show up on a stat sheet that make our team go. Uh, obviously, defensively as our anchor uh, inside, and then offensively, his screening frees up a lot of the guards to make some of the plays that you've been seeing in these yeah. highlights throughout the show. So he's extremely valuable to what we do. He's smart. He's a great teammate, and uh, it's been a real privilege to coach him. You mentioned the, uh, the seniors and their great personalities. I'm just getting to know Dang Riak, and he's got a great personality, always smiling, no, never mad at anybody, it seems like. He's got a great sense of humor, yeah. and uh, you know, we've got a great group, yeah. great group, and uh, he's very, uh, very fun to work with and interact with both on and off the court and uh, has been a big part of certainly of, of us building you know, this thing back uh, to where it's at right now. So. He's a huge part of our defense and a huge part of what we do offensively, yeah. creating action through his screening. As we said, the Zips come back home Tuesday night for a big game against defending Mid-American Conference champion Buffalo. Coach, they've got uh, a new coach up at Buffalo, but still some great personnel. No question. Obviously, he's very familiar with that personnel because sure. he got the job from within. And I've known Jim for a while, even when he was the head coach at Loyola, does a really good job. They're extremely athletic, extremely yeah. long. They get into you. It is going to be, if you like fast-paced, up-and-down basketball, that's what's going to be like on Tuesday night because both teams like to run. Uh, both teams get out and go. And uh, we're going to have to do a good job of defending the dribble. They're, they're as good as any team putting the ball on the floor. Right now, they're 13-7 and seven overall. They are 4-3 and three in the Mid-American Conference. Until they got uh, knocked off by Kent the other night, they had won four straight league games, so they're playing pretty well right now. Yeah, no question, and they've got good players. We've mentioned that already. Graves, Williams, you know, and a lot of these kids, Segu, Devontae Jordan, you know, these guys have, are guys that have won at a high level and been a part of some really special teams. They know what that takes. So, you know, they've been a thorn in our side here for, you know, a couple of years and a thorn in a lot of people's side yes. for a couple of years in our league. So we've got to be ready to go. It's going to be a tremendous challenge. And then Friday night, the Zips head up to Kent State. I call it the greatest mid-major rivalry in the country. That'll be a 6.30 tip-off up in Kent. Coach, I know you just concentrate on Buffalo right now, but you've been around long enough, three years now, to know that is a big game when you play Kent State. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. What a week, right? Yeah. You got Buffalo and Kent. I mean, this is about as good as it gets, you know. So we got to make sure that we're ready to go and take it one game at a time. We got Buffalo first on Tuesday night, but... You know, great week for us, and uh, we're looking forward to competing. Of course, Kent State has a number of outstanding players. Uh, Danny Pippen, much improved. Boo Man Williams turned into one of the better players in the league also. No question. They've got great talent, great depth, and Rob does a great job coaching them. Of course, you've been involved in a lot of great rivalries, that Cincinnati-Xavier game, uh, the Ohio State, uh, Ohio-Miami, Ohio-Akron. But this Akron-Kent game is, is special. It is you? special, yeah. and we're looking forward to it. Uh, but first, we've got Buffalo. Exactly. Our focus has got to be on them Tuesday night. Well, Coach, congratulations on two big road wins. Hopefully next week we're talking about two more. So uh, best of luck this week. Appreciate it, Joe. Okay. Thanks. For Head Coach John Gross, I'm Joe Dunn. We'll see you back here next week with more University of Akron basketball. And as always, go Zips. Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna.
This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.